Okay, we're here in the castle art room again, and we're going to uh, take a pot that we made on the potter's wheel, and we're going to trim the bottom. All right, so to do that, I'm going to take my uh, guard and put my guard on the potter's wheel. Not backwards like Brad does. Okay, I'm going to have a few tools here. I'm going to have a piece of fresh clay. I'm going to have a trimming tool. Okay. And then I have my pot that I had put over on the shelf, uh, covered because it sat for about four or five days. Um, and I covered it up so that it will stay, you know, fairly uh, fresh uh, with some water in it and not get really dry so that it's uh, very difficult to trim. Okay, so I'm just going to take the plastic off of it. Alright, set that aside. And I'm on a board so it's easy just to take back to the potter's wheel and put it in place. Right. Um, the pot actually is still to the point where it's still stuck to the uh, wheel base itself so I'm going to get myself. So I have a trimming tool and I'm just going to take my trimming tool, wrap it around the fingers once with my thumbs pressed against the board. I'm going to trim the bottom of the pot off the wheel. I'm going to take the pot itself and turn it upside down. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to center it the best I can. Moving it whatever direction it is I need in order to get it fairly centered and I look pretty good there. Okay. I'm going to take some of that fresh clay. I'm going to stick in the corners here. And this is just to help hold it in place as I trim it. Um, I'm probably a little bit early yet on this clay to, to uh, trim. It's still fairly uh, too fresh, so I probably want to let it dry just a little bit longer. To do that, I just open up a corner of the bag and it lets some air in there to help this thing dry. But we're still going to trim it anyway today. All right. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to take, there's like a sharp lip around the edge. I just want to take my trimming tool, a flat edge. I'm going to go right around the outside edge of it just to trim it down. And I don't need to spin this thing too fast in order to do that. Okay. And I always brace my hands so that it holds it, holds the tool. Fairly stationary for trimming. Okay, then I'm going to take uh, the center of the pot, and I like to just have like a, a flat ring right around the edge of this, and then kind of indent it in the center. Okay, and it's just personal pre preference. It's all in how you want to trim. All right, but again, I'll just start at the center of this thing and start cutting some of the clay out. And you see, I'm using the over on the sink, Noah. I'm using the, uh, the pointed part of the tool. Okay, and I'm just going to start at the center again, and, and I'm only cutting probably an eighth to a quarter of an inch deep, so I'm not going very deep. Come closer if you can't see it very well. Cut. Okay. Now the more centered you get the pot when you actually make it, the more uh, straight the pot's going to be in the long run, which means trimming it's going to be significantly easier. So this one's going to trim a little bit difficult. But
Okay, so at this point, and I'd work at this just a little bit longer to get it, you know, really nice and neat, but for the sake of video, I'm just going to cut it short here. So you see here I have a flat surface around the outer edge, probably, I don't know, an eighth to a quarter inch wide, indented in the center, nice and trimmed on the outside. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pointer tool and I'm going to carve my initials in it. Don't go through the pot, obviously. You create a hole and it won't hold water or liquids. And I'm going to put the year, which right now it's 2014, so I'm just going to put 14 in there. Okay. Take my pieces holding. Pot it off. And then I'll just set this aside to dry. And actually, I'm just going to leave it upside down to dry at this point. Okay, so now I can take it over, set it on the shelf, and wait for it to dry, and I'm done and set to go. Ready for firing.